Welcome back. So in the last tutorial, we took, the, we took a look at how to install MAMP on your local machine. It's a per fairly simple, straightforward process. However, now we need to configure MAMP properly so it's running on our default Apache and MySQL ports. Also, we're going to touch on the document route a little bit as well. So, let's get started. If we come down to MAMP and open up our MAMP window, we're going to see something here that says Preferences. If we go into Preferences, it's going to give us our, our start and stop options here. It's going to say start servers when starting MAMP, stop servers when quitting MAMP. These are all optional. Check for updates, optional. Open the start page. This is what automatically pops up every time. If you don't like that and that annoys you, just uncheck it. No big deal. The important part is this next part of ports. I like my default ports running on 80. My Apache port, I like it set to 80. So what we're going to do, that's very easy to do. It says set default Apache and MySQL ports. All you got to do is hit that button. Now your Apache port is set to port 80. MySQL port is set to 3306. These are the default ports for Apache and MySQL. That easy. So now, if we went up and we typed in localhost, So why didn't that work? Let's let's just evaluate why that didn't work really quick. Because right now we haven't accepted our changes. So you might go up and type in localhost and be like, man, that didn't work. Well, that's simply because we haven't accepted our changes. So I just wanted to show you that little gotcha because a lot of people will come in here, hit that, and forget to restart their servers. Every time you make a change in here, you must restart the MySQL server and the Apache server. So let's finish out the rest of our changes here and we'll go ahead and restart those. So in the next tab, we have PHP. Always use the most current and up-to-date version unless for some reason you have, you know, unless you have a reason for using something other than that, always use the current version. Ours is set to 5.3.5. Now, Apache. This document root this is very important. Where you save your dynamic files, whether it be PHP or any other dynamic language, is what's going to be the local host of your machine. So right now, if I had the if I had the server restarted and I dropped files and whatever else into the htdocs folder under applications map htdocs and then I typed in localhost in our bar, that is where it's going to pull from. So just like if I had mycoolwebsite.com, that mycoolwebsite.com is the root directory. You can't go any lower than that. So essentially, this document root, you can't go any lower than that. That is the basis for your local site. That easy. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to leave it set to htdocs. What you'll see commonly, however, is you'll see a lot of people that select users, and then the sites folder. This folder is very common for people to develop localhost development with. So I'm going to click cancel out of there and leave it as htdoc. Now if I hit OK, you see, you're going to see Apache server and MySQL server restart. And it always usually requires an administrator password, so just go ahead and type that in. All right, now both of them have restarted and gone back to green. Now that we've restarted them, so now if we come in and type localhost, it's returning the root of our directory of htdocs. So let's take a look at this htdocs folder real quick. So if we go into applications, come down to map, and we'll see this folder htdocs. Now in the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and we'll start working with some dynamic PHP pages and get you up and running so you can see exactly how these, these files and folders within the htdocs are referenced and work. So again, this is a pretty easy, straightforward tutorial. 
I hope this tutorial gave you all the information you needed to go ahead and configure MAMP the proper way. In the next tutorial, we'll take a look at creating dynamic web pages and get you off and running in that direction. See you in the next tutorial.